Hi everyone, Jason from Iron Fence Shop. One of the questions we get asked all the time is, which is better, iron fence or aluminum fence? So today I wanted to take you through some common scenarios to show where one material may outshine the other and some areas they're both equally good in. Now one thing I do want to stress before we get started is there really is not one better material. What it's really going to come down to is your preferences and your project needs more so than one of the materials being superior to the other. Let's start with the question we get asked most when it comes to these two. Which is the better looking one, iron fence or aluminum fence? Now what I have here on the stand in front of me are some of our signature grade iron and aluminum pieces and traditional grade iron and aluminum pieces. Now you'll notice they look fairly similar. They both have solid welded on finials. The profiles between the two are fairly similar. Really the only looks wise difference you're going to see here is the railing. On the aluminum you'll notice that it has this taller rail with a screw securing the picket to the rail. Over here on the iron you'll notice a shorter rail with no screw since this is welded solid. So in terms of looks, I'm going to have to call this one a draw. They're fairly similar in looks, and it's really going to kind of boil down to preferences and which material might work best for your project needs. Next, let's move on to maintenance. One of the biggest maintenance concerns we hear when it comes to iron and aluminum fencing is dealing with rust. Now, one thing I do want to make clear is that our infinity aluminum, if you scrape it to bare metal, will not rust. It's just the properties of aluminum are such that it will not rust if exposed to air. Now, if you do take our iron, and scrape it down to bare metal, it will rust. However, we go the extra mile in trying to protect our iron with a protective coat of zinc galvanization over the bare metal before it goes through and gets powder coated with this final finish. I tell people iron's like the hood of your car. If you get a rock chip in the hood of your car, you don't touch it up and let it go, you're gonna get rust. However, it would take decades of neglect of not touching up that rust point on your fence for it to really degrade to a certain point. However, I'm gonna call aluminum the winner when it comes to maintenance, simply for the fact that even if you do scrape it down to bare metal, you're not gonna have any rust concerns. Next, let's look at finish. The finish is gonna be this black outer coating that's exposed to the elements that you see on the outside. Now, as I mentioned before, the iron does have a protective layer of galvanization underneath it, that the aluminum doesn't. That's just simply for rust inhibition. However, they both go through the same multi-stage cleaning process, and then we apply the satin black TGIC powder coat to them that has UV fade inhibitors in it. That's important because it keeps it from grain and chalking out on you. So realistically at the end, the finish you see on the outside is the same between both iron and aluminum. So therefore I'm gonna call it a draw. They both have the same nice finish to them. Next, let's move on to strength and durability. Now this one, there's not gonna be a lot of whole conversation to go through. Hands down, your iron pieces are gonna be stronger than your aluminum. It's just the nature of steel and iron being more heavy duty. The construction of how the two pieces also plays into it. With our iron piece here, you're going to notice that we have the railing is welded solid to it, so it's one continuous piece. With our aluminum over here, it's also fed through the rail, but it's held with a screw. So while still secure on the aluminum, the iron's going to be fully welded, one solid piece for construction strength. The other thing to keep in mind is that just because the iron piece is stronger, doesn't mean that the aluminum piece is necessarily inferior. It just means that when push comes to shove, the aluminum's going to bend first before the iron does. The other thing to keep in mind too is that just the heft of steel and iron is more than aluminum also. Basically, let's take a six foot tall panel for example. In iron, it's probably gonna weigh about 75 pounds. In aluminum, it's gonna weigh about 25 pounds, just to kind of give you an idea of the difference between the two materials. So in terms of strength and durability, I gotta give the win to iron on this one. Aluminum's still a good solid piece, but in terms of overall strength, iron wins. Next, let's take a look at ease of installation between the two. Now, if you've read any of our installation guides or seen some of our videos on the installation process, you'll know there is a little bit of a difference between how iron and aluminum are installed. Now, on our iron piece over here, you're going to secure your fence panel to your post via use of this bracket and a self-tapping screw. Now, if we go over here to our infinity aluminum, it fits inside the post and is then held on the outside of the screw here. So a little bit of difference in installation. With your iron, you have to set your posts, let them dry, then go back and hang your panels. With your aluminum posts, you're gonna basically put them in, connect the fence into them, all at the same time while the cement's wet. Now the thing that's the same between them though is gates. Whether you're doing an iron or an aluminum gate, you gotta wait till the posts are dry and go back and hang them after that fact. So between the two there, it's really gonna be more of a matter of preference. Do you like setting it while the cement's wet versus the cement's dry in terms of which one's easier to install? So for this one, I'm gonna to have to call a draw. I find that iron and aluminum fence are both equally pretty easy and straightforward to work with when it comes to installation. Next, let's take a look at versatility in terms of iron and aluminum fence. Now, when I say versatility, I'm referring to one being able to do something that the other can't. Now, if you recall from before, the construction of our iron pieces and aluminum pieces is a little bit different, and that's gonna come into play here for the versatility. Now, with our iron, the picket is fed through the rail and welded solid from underneath, so it's one continuous piece. Now, with your aluminum fencing, it is also fed through there, but it's screwed on the front here. Now, what that allows you to do is called racking the panel. 
It allows you to angle the railing while the pickets remain upright. So if you have a slight grade or slope in your yard, this will allow you to basically shift the shape of the panel to keep the pickets upright, but follow that grade. Now you can follow grade with iron fencing by a stair stepping, but due to the fact that the aluminum does it much easier right out of the box, I'm going to have to give the versatility win to aluminum, just for the fact you can rack the panel very easily to follow any slope or grade you have in your yard. Next, let's take a look at if iron or aluminum fence is better for security. Now again, construction is going to come into play here. Let's start with our aluminum fence over here. Now, if I undo these screws and all the pickets that go through the railing, I can basically lift the picket right out and go right through the fence. So already a mark against aluminum for security in that regard. Now, if we swing over here to our iron piece, these are all fully welded. This intersection point is a weld from underneath, so you're not going to be able to pull this apart. So already I'd have to say iron's taken the lead in terms of security. Next up, let's take a look at the connection points. On our aluminum over here, that railing is fitting inside the post and screwed from the outside. Even if you back that screw out, you're not going to be able to get that rail out of the post simply because it's in the ground, it's stuck inside, you're not going to be able to wiggle it around. However, we're back to the pickets. If I just undo these screws, I can lift the picket right out, so that more secure connection point really just doesn't matter. Now if we swing back over to the iron piece here, we're utilizing a bracket with a self-tapping screw underneath. Now you could actually just back the screw out and push the whole fence panel down. However, iron has some options that aluminum doesn't. One is you could put a small tack weld on the screw to the bracket. Now you can't fit a tool over it, now you can't back it out. Second is you can use tamper-proof screws. Uh, there are specialty screws you can buy that require a special tool to back them out, so that's going to make getting in harder as well. Lastly, it's just the nature of iron, you can actually weld it directly to the post, whereas you can't with aluminum. So between those three different elements, really iron comes out on top in terms of security. Not only that, but the iron is a much more heavy duty and robust piece that's going to allow it to take a lot more abuse before it gives, bends, breaks, or does anything like that. So in terms of security, iron comes out on top of the winner. So there you have it. Those are the seven main elements that come up when people are trying to determine whether they want an iron or aluminum fence. So let's go ahead and recap where each material landed. Out of the seven possible areas, aluminum came out on top for maintenance and versatility. Iron came out on top for strength and security. The other three areas of appearance, ease of installation, and finish all came out as a draw. So all in all, there's not one clear material between iron and aluminum fences that trump all categories over the other. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, these are not hard and fast rules. If you need a strong fence, you shouldn't shy away from aluminum. If you're worried about maintenance, you shouldn't shy away from iron. We make both our iron and aluminum fences to handle a variety of applications. Iron just outshines aluminum in some ways, the same as aluminum outshines iron in other ways. The best way to choose which is best for your project is to look at this table and see if more of your preferences and job needs fall in line with one material strengths more than the others. I hope this video has shown you the differences between iron and aluminum and where one may outperform the other, but also where one may work just as well as the other. Now if you have any further questions about which material may work best for your project, feel free to give us a call at 800-261-2729 or shoot us an email to sales at ironfenshop.com. We look forward to hearing from you.